Hi, I'm Adam Drake from Yugen Siki Racing. Today I'm going to show you a simple and easy way to remove the piston sleeve from your nitro engine. Okay, so here we have the cooling head, head button, and back plate removed from the engine. One thing you should always try to get in the habit of is when you're removing the back plate, once you've pulled the screws out, always make sure that you turn the crankshaft to where the piston doesn't have to necessarily be all the way at top dead center, but to where the piston is up to where you can remove the back plate to where the skirt of the piston doesn't get caught on the back plate. If it does, when you go to pull the back plate off, you can actually break the piston. Some engines, it doesn't matter. Some engines, the piston can be in any position and you can remove the back plate, but it's just a good habit to get in to make sure that the piston's always in its upstroke when you remove the back plate. So then what I'll do is I'll take and put the piston uh, towards the bottom of its stroke. You'll take a zip tie. You'll want to make sure that the zip tie is really clean, you know, preferably a, a new zip tie, not something that you kind of found on the ground. And you'll just slide this into the exhaust port. And you can do this a couple of different ways. You could put your clutch nut on the crankshaft and just start to turn it over. What I like to do is just use my ProTech shock shaft pliers because I know it's not going to gall or scratch the shock shaft. You'll turn to where it starts to put pressure on the zip tie and then you'll just turn it. Now you don't have to turn all the way to where the engine turns over because you can end up cutting the zip tie. So you need to just get to where there's enough room to where you can get your fingernail or your tuning screwdriver uh, underneath the sleeve. So we'll then take the piston, put it to where it's at bottom dead center, slide the zip tie out, and usually you can just grab it with your fingers if it's a newer engine. If not, you may need to get under it with a tuning screwdriver. I recommend using two tuning screwdrivers if it's an older engine and it has a lot of fuel through it because sometimes the sleeves can be fairly difficult to remove. So you'll want to take two screwdrivers, one on each side, applying equal pressure to help push the sleeve up. From there, you can remove the piston and inspect the bearings, crankshaft, or the internals of the engine. Now this isn't something that's needed or I don't think people need to disassemble their engines often but if you're disassembling your engine because you're going to have the sleeve resized or change a bearing uh, just wanted to show some simple uh, tips like using the zip tie that make this easy and again if if the sleeve is tight or if when you go to turn uh, the crankshaft over if it cuts the zip tie you may want to take a zip tie cut it in half and just put two, two zip ties side by side. That way there's more surface area and it makes it easier to push the sleeve out of the engine. But again, if it's a newer engine, it usually will come out pretty easy just using one heavy duty zip tie. 